with the data modeler it is also possible to import the relational database model from a database so to do that all you need to do is get to file go to uh, import to uh, data dictionary so i already have uh, a database connection otherwise you need to create the database connection to the database um, you have access to so in this case uh, in fact i have a cloud instance i have access to oracle cloud so i am going to uh, connect to the oracle cloud instance so i got to see if you look at uh, the properties over here uh, i would have uh, i'll show you that i would have uh, database connection name admin password and uh, the cloud wallet in this case it is cloud wallet if it is uh, something like uh, the connection is uh, through tns names then uh, you need to choose the appropriate connection type so in this case it is the oracle cloud instance to which i am going to connect so um, i need to provide with the password so select the connection and click on the next this is where uh, it will ask you to provide the password so now it has got connected to the password and all these are the schemas in the database so you can select all of them i'm just going to get this schema alone sh um, that schema alone i'm going to get so click on the next so i want for all the tables these are the uh, tables so i am selecting all the tables so i want to see all the joins everything um, of all the tables in that particular schema of uh, sh on the left if you see connect database select the schema select the objects to import it is providing all the details so when you press next it will go to generate design so we have selected nine tables over here so finish so this is getting um, generated so this is actually getting imported the tables the structure the database structure is getting uh, imported so post import yes you have the diagram over here and it shows a kind of a log uh, how many are imported uh, particularly it will uh, refers to the objects so i say close and here are the objects uh, objects or um, you see the various uh, relationships as well uh, so you can click on it i mean double click and get the information so this is the point is from the database we have done a kind of a reverse from the database which is already existing we are importing the structure of that database we are in, so these are basically the tables uh, on that uh, database and it provides you with a join condition and uh, suppose in case uh, if you want to have uh, the ddls yes it's possible go to um, ddl editors and uh, then generate yeah say okay that is getting uh, generated now let's give it a minute so here are the um, respective i mean um, the d the states statements like uh, creating a table suppose if you want to uh, from this database you want to one from a one particular database you want to have all the scripts the table creation scripts or all the object creation script and you want to uh, probably if you want to modify or you want to just uh, take the scripts and run in a, a different um, database you could do that on top of it 
you can analyze I mean as a consultant you can analyze uh, the join conditions it is much more instead of running in SQL query you can analyze uh, the database structure so with the import you can always um, download from the um, from one particular database the database structure so that's the feature of import thank you